The thing is, is like, you just say stuff, and then I say stuff. So then we say stuff, and then it's stuff. What's up, everybody? Circus here coming at you with a ladder play video tonight. We're going to be doing... Satellers? So tellers? I don't know. What do we yeah, call these things? One. You call okay. it Satellers, so tellers. Both, both are permissible. That's what we're playing tonight. Herb's going to teach me how. It should be pretty funny. Um, yeah. I Herb, mean, Herb loves this deck. Fun. He loves it's, this deck. I've never, really I've never, I've had the stuff. I've never played it. Yeah. Well, this is actually, okay. So the backstory is I was actually playing this deck, like just randomly a ladder, and then I accidentally got King of Games. So, I mean, it's a good deck. Yeah, I mean, you win a lot on the ladder just by controlling. Mm -hmm. Control decks generally do well on the ladder because people can't play through basic back row, so that's All right. really fun. Without uh, telling a really long story about each card, but let, let's go through them real quick. We got the what's right. this? The Deneb. What does this one do? Deneb will search other tellers. Is this our starter or no? Um, it can be. You have a lot of different starters, okay. so it can. Be. Um, the Altair will special summon one from the graveyard. Okay. Um, the Unu. I don't know how to say the whole name. I just call him Unu. Unu Kalhai. Kalhai. Yeah, he, he basically just dumps a teller to the grave. So this is really good in combination with the Sky Bridge, which we'll get to later. But I think that's a lady. I think it's a lady. Well, the the person. There you go. You know. Uh, and then the Vega will special summon another one from your hand. And then the Sirius, you can shuffle five, any any five tellers from your graveyard back into the deck to draw a card. So it's draw power and recursion. Which is okay. really I'm trying to figure out the face thing on that one, but oh well. He's like he's like going to the side. Yeah. All right. And what does Book of Moon do? Book of Moon. I'm I'm not That's sure. That's a 50 card. Me. Yep. And then yeah. so Teller Knight Skybridge. This is this a clutch card, right? So important. So basically, you target one monster on your side of the field, special summon another Teller Knight, and then shuffle the targeted one back into the deck. So this is really good with either Deneb or Unu because you can Unu to search a teller and then switch into Vega to special summon that teller that you just searched. Or you can oh. Unu to dump something and then flip it into Altair to special summon what you just dumped. I'm so, thoroughly confused, but it sounds like it's a good card. It, it's it's like core. It's very core. All right. Mandatory at three. Uh, Cosmic, Cosmic and Floodgate. We know what those do. Yeah. What's this thing do? Stel Stellar Nova Alpha. Alpha is you you tribute one or I think it's either tribute or send to the grave either one doesn't matter. Uh, you send something uh, teller knight on your field to the grave to negate any monster spell or trap. And if you do destroy it, and if you do destroy it, you get to draw a card. Nice, it's their negate. Yeah, it's an omni negate. It's so good because you can plus off of it as well. All right, and super team buddy force unite. This, this card, card is super good because all of the tellers proc off being special summoned, and this allows you to special summon in your opponent's turn. And because all of the main deck monsters are a hard once per turn, it allows you to proc their effects on your opponent's turn. So it's so mm -hmm. good. Now this card has been in the game for a little over two years, and it's just mm -hmm. now really seen a lot of play. You can see here October twenty fourth, twenty nineteen. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, it's going on two years. I'm sorry. It seems like I guess my point was when it first came out, it didn't really see a lot of play, but recently it's it's almost becoming like I don't want to say a staple, but it's getting used a lot in a lot of decks. Yeah, it's one of those cards where it's either extremely helpful or extremely useless. <laughs> yeah, right. like it's either one of the best cards in your deck, or why would you ever touch that card? Right. And for this deck, I think it's really good because, like I said, all of them proc off special summons. So you're able to special summon in your opponent's turn to set up your effects for your next turn. And then it's still like it'll reset, so you can spend, you can use other effects again. So you're able to like plus two, plus three, like very quick. All right, let's take a look at the extra deck. This one's pretty cool, Paladynamo. You yeah. said this is a selection box card, right? Yeah. So you detach. If you don't two. have it, does can you play the deck? Yeah, I like it at one because it's a good rank four option. But Paladynamo is any good rank four that you have. It could be like Kachi Kochi Dragon, could just be whatever. It's just basically good card goes here okay basically um this is just a little helpful to be able to have surprise lethal on certain situations okay and then what's this one here Batalamus. this card is what kind of put this deck on the map circus only has one so we're playing one but i like to play it at two doesn't really matter though you can, it's still playable at one uh, basically you detach a material from this and discard one card from your hand to the graveyard 
and then special summon any Teller Knight XCs right on top of this, and then you can't oh, nice. special summon any more XCs for the rest of the game. So okay. it's basically just allows you to rank up into your Deltharos, which is the next card in the list. Okay. And Deltharos is so good because it allows you to pop a card, and whenever it's sent from the field to the graveyard, you're able to special summon another Teller from your deck. So this allows you to loop your Altair to special summon either the Deltharos or your Deneb from the graveyard, which allows you to continually search, special summon search, special summon, nice. all that kind of stuff. All right, g -g 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 Samurai, we know about that Attacks one. twice, yep. yep. And then Omega, the, the biggest use for this card is that it allows you to have a good like board presence if you don't have a guaranteed way to go into Deltaros. So the biggest choke point is when you go into the Talamus, but if your opponent has a lot of activatable back row, you should go into Omega to force out the back row, and then you have follow-up to go into your Talamus later mm -hmm. because this guy is unaffected by spell and trap cards. So... Uh, so let's say I'm a budget player. This could be an expensive deck because it's a main box, mm -hmm. three URs, or two, I yeah. guess, with the Deneb. Uh, these ratios with the monsters and then the mm -hmm. Skybridge, is this what we need? The Skybridge is a level up, so that's good. I would say two Deneb is the bare minimum. Okay, so the Skybridge, uh, where do we get that? Oh, from Tori Meadows. Level up. Yeah. So we got to get that there. So that's not a problem, right? But what about the, the monsters themselves? The monsters, I mean, the only real problem is like, the, the, the Deneb is you need to have two. You got to have two. Okay. Two is the bare minimum. So you if you're getting two, you're getting two. everything else. Yeah. So uh, the extra deck, you, two Deltharos is mandatory. One Batalamus is doable. And then the rest of it is just good stuff. Okay. Just that's good just, stuff. All right. Just, just put in stuff that's useful. Okay. You know? I mean... There's not much. You, you don't normally make stuff outside of your Teller Knight XCs, but it's just good utility stuff. All right. Let's get into the ladder then and try this thing out and see how we do with it. <laughs> I feel pretty good because we have we, we got Herf here. Yeah, he ain't no joke. You know what I mean? Uh, he ain't, I no, ain't joke. no joke, folk. All right. Let's get in there. Duel. 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 We'll see how good this deck really is. I think this deck is pretty good. Legend Personally. 3 against Roxas. All right. And he's playing okay. Desperado. This is very doable. It's a doable. We're going first. That's really good. Yes. All right. Let's see what we can set up here. Master of Destiny. Is that important? Does that help us? Uh, I mean, not really, but it, <laughs> it doesn't actively okay. act against us. So basically, we're just going to summon Unu. Which one is that? This one? Uh, the, yeah, that one. And then we're going to... What does this do? Actually, actually, uh, summon the Vega, actually. Yeah. Okay, and what are we doing yeah. with this? What's summon the point? Summon Vega. Vega will special summon the Unu. Okay. And then click yes. And then we're going to special summon Unu from our hand to send the Deneb. Yep. And then we're going to send Deneb. What are we trying to do right now? Are we setting up a... Obviously, we're setting yeah, a field, but what are we doing? What's we're going our into the Xyz right now. So we're going to... Uh, yeah, Xyz summon... I almost said Synchro summon. The Batalamus. Uh, which one? Uh, the which one, one on far, far right. Far right. Far there we go. So we're going to go into this guy, mm -hmm. and then you're going to activate his effect. Discard your Cosmic Cyclone. Discard the Cosmic Cyclone? Yeah, discard what, the what Cosmic What does this do? Cyclone. What does this do? So click, activate. You're going to detach... Does it matter which one? No, it doesn't matter. Okay. And then discard the cosmic to special summon your Deltaros. Yep. And then activate your Deltaros effect to pop itself. To pop itself? Yep, pop itself. Do it. Oh, man. You're going to thin the deck even more. I yep. don't, I don't like the, this. The pop itself, special summon Altair in defense. What are we doing? We're setting up a good board, Altair into defense. Okay. And then what we can like super and then team? resummon the Deltaros back into defense. So the Altair is going to bring it out of the grave. Yeah, Altair is going to bring Deltaros back out of the grave into defense. In, in so defense. I'm, yeah, because there's nothing for us to pop on it and then set the super team buddy and then pass. So we just have like a wall. Couldn't we have just set two monsters? No, that's not as good. Because <laughs> the Deltaros will be able to float into another card, which allows us to plus even more. And if he doesn't really do anything, we just special summon the Deneb and then go into all of our plays that way. This seems like a weird turn one play, you know what I mean? 
I mean, it is weird, but it's also good. Is it? I mean, what's gonna happen here when he attacks? Oh, uh, what is he going to attack though? Oh my God, we can't special summon light monsters now. Of course we can't. Light... Uh, and we lose both of our monsters. <laughs> well, wait, you know, disconnect. Oh no, it's not. Dang, dude, we just had to go into quarantine. That's so annoying. Everybody's got quarantine Aww. now. There's like literally nothing we can do, right? Yeah, not really. Because we're not even... Wait, uh, can we do stuff? All right, let this die. Let it die. Okay. And then, wait, I think we can resummon our Batalus off of this. Yeah. Yeah, 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 click it. I'm pretty sure this is going to allow us... Because Batalus is a dark, so... We can special summon Batalamus back. Yep. And, and then attack. hopefully we draw into some... Yeah, an attack. Hmm. Perf, this doesn't seem like that great. Well, it right would be now. a lot better if you didn't have a quarantine. Right, but look what... We used all of our, our stuff and we got yeah, nothing. Yeah, okay. The reason that we didn't get anything is because he had a quarantine. Okay, what do we do now? Uh, well, we can't special summon any more lights, so we basically just have to swing over the quarantine pass. Because there's no use in using our Altair right We're now. We're going to get Karma Cutted or something here. I mean, probably, but that's just the nature of this matchup right now with him having quarantine on the field. Oh, okay. All right. Now we can do stuff next it's, time. Uh, are we going to be able to play the game? Um, Hopefully. Because like, if you said, Circus, watch me play this deck, and I was watching this game, I'd be like, you crazy, Herf. Uh, I mean, we're not. We're definitely not out of it by any means. I wouldn't say we're in it, though, either. You know, uh, okay, that's a blast spider. That's doable. Oh, he's gonna blast spider summon. Oh, yeah, we're dead. And we die, right? Yeah, well, he has he has Desperado in hand. Of I mean, okay, he... here's, the, here's the thing if he didn't have uh, does he have Desperado? I don't oh, know. Oh, we're dead. Any... Wait, are we dead? Oh, yeah, because he can special summon the quarantine back. Yeah, we're dead. Herf, you're killing me. Okay, here's the thing if he didn't have quarantine, we won. There's a quarantine. lot of things that you can say about your opponent's deck. Like, if he didn't no, do no, this, no, no, if he no. didn't do no. that. Quarantine, okay. Quarantine just, like, hard floodgates us. It's like it's like a hard But counter. this is one of the top decks in the ladder right now. What, Desperado? Yes. Well, if they don't open Quarantine, we're fine. <laughs> or if they don't play that card at all, we're going to be fine. Yeah, hey, man. If they just don't play stuff that's good for them, we're okay. All right, so this is a rank-up rank now match. Um, all right, well, that means we have to win. I think Are we we're going, going to... first. I didn't see. Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is actually a pretty good hand. No. So what kind of horse gonna, shit are we doing this time? You're gonna normal summon the Neb. Okay. And you're going to search your Vega. Search your Vega. Yeah, that one. Okay. Yep. And then you're gonna set two and pass. Amazing. No, this is actually pretty good. Okay? Is it? Okay. You're you're laughing, but well, we have this, a negate, this, right? We have a negate. We have the negate, and, and we have the, a the super two team. special sum. So okay. You you scoff now. I Let scoff at you, sir. You you may scoff. I I but... will scoff. I'll scoff all over you. I right, cyber dragon. Okay. Are we in to trouble? Did we just? I think we just lost. No, we didn't lose yet. Yet I like it, just... I like how he says it. Yeah, we haven't lost yet. We we just negate his rampage dragon when he summons it. Okay. okay. This is all fine. This is all fine. This is all fine. We're okay with all of this. He needs I don't to know if I'm to... okay with this. <laughs> I, I, you know, I've been playing Digital Bugs, and I've been working hard to get to Legend 2, and now we're just throwing it away it on a deck fine. that just doesn't do anything. This deck does stuff. Okay, I think I Digital promise. Bugs are stronger than this deck. That's false. That's absolutely fake. All right. Let's see what happens here. Okay, well, he has to have a fusion, and if he does fuse, that's fine. Well, you would think let he him. would. Or is he just going to attack? If he just attacks, we just let him attack. He has the overflow. How are we going to play through the overflow? Uh, with Super Team Buddy Force. Okay, so he's just going to straight up attack. What do we do? Yeah, it's happen. He's not going to be able to do that much damage. That's 1,100 plus 900. That's fine. It's so 8, just take it? Take it. Take it like a champ. All right. Oh, uh, does he have a wait? Does he have a fusion? If he has a fusion, I messed up. And then we die. God damn it, her! Damn it, we we should have we should have buddy forced first. I didn't read the fusion. <laughs> all right, all right, hear me out. 
You're dead. Okay. Of course he had the fusion. All right, all right. Um. Uh. Okay. Okay. So we just deranked. All right. That's fine. We 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 did that on purpose. Okay. So back to Legend One. All the pressure's off now. <laughs> I would really hate to get any st even one step closer to uh, King of Games like this guy did. He was Legend Rank 4. He just ranked up <laughs> off of us. And now he's Legend Rank 5. So he is one game closer hey. to his King of Games. Hey, we just did some charity work. Uh, put that in your taxes. What's the title of this video going to be? Herf um, sucks and so no, do Satellar no. Knights? No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It's all This fine. is what happens when you don't cherry pick wins like Herf does in his videos. Like what? when he shows you those replays. Oh my god. <laughs> it's never live. You ever notice that? Well, because I... Okay, never mind. Whatever. Because <laughs> he's got to play 20 games to get those five that you see on no, stream. No, I show, I show the ladder where I played. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, then how can we can't even... Doable. How can we... Can, we can't even get one win here. We can't even get a play, a playable... Playable this hand... Or a playable field. This is doable. We're going to get Karma Cutted, our ultimate providence. To We're going to draw here. Draw any Teller Knight. Okay, this is fine. All right, so you just normal summon. Which one? Uh, Vega. Okay, because this one does what? Special summon one Teller Knight from your hand. Okay. Yep. Click yes. Yeah, and yes. We're just going to be baiting. We're baiting. This. Yes, we are baiting. We're baiting the Karma Cut, really. That's all we're doing here. He's not going to. He's not going to fall for it. That's and then you're set table. two. Which two? The two traps. Okay. And then I think that we're just going to swing here. Just attack? Yeah. We want to play this slowly. Okay. Slow ride. Mm -hmm. Take it easy. Because if you karma cut this, so that's a right Geki break. So he's going to target the Altair. So now you can use the Sky Bridge. Okay. Flip the Altair into a Deneb and search another Altair. But we're going to lose one of our back row. Yeah, I mean, he has to, he can't kill through two back row. And then that Deneb will search another Altair. And Got Altair it. is the main way in which you plus off of your grave. Okay. All right. Okay, and then we're still swinging. Nice, very nice. And, then and we're swinging. And we're swinging. And we're swinging. So 1500 direct. Nice. Okay. And then okay. pass turn. Now we have a negate set up. For okay, we did something. We did something that turn, folks. I think that's the first time we did something. <laughs> we're okay. Since we started it, playing. If he only banishes one, it's fine. It's fine. The other back row will kill whatever else he has followed. Okay, well, is that true? Yeah, so that's a floodgate. That's actually the better one for him. For us. It is the better card, you're right. Well, no, but the alpha is better for us. Okay. Because it's a negate. Let's battle. Let's battle. Okay, that's fine. What do we do? Just take it? Yeah, I mean, you can't negate it. <sighs> what is the negate good for, then? When he activates <laughs> the text. Like, Absolutely right now, now you negate. Nothing. Now you negate. Now you negate this. Okay. That way he can't kill us. What? Did you see that? He even said what? Did you see that? He's like, He's what? Like, what? What? Excuse me? Bzzz. Now just top deck into Cosmic and we win. Enough of your tricks. Top deck into Cosmic? No, okay, this is fine as well. So you just Altair. And what are we grabbing? Into Vega. Into Vega. So and into Vega. Vega, we'll special summon another Altair from our hand. Yep. So he can karma cut one of these, but he can't karma cut all of these. Precisely. So then Vega will special summon another altar from our hand, and then we... we just attack, right? We don't. We don't. Yeah, we just swing. Yeah, there's no reason to exceed, especially because only tellers can attack right now. So uh, yeah, karma cut one of them. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, GG. Right, break. Right, break. Break. That's fine. Discard that's traps. Permissible. Get out of here. Yeah. And even if he would have banished the alpha, we could have um, floodgated the blue eyes when he summoned it and then made Deltaros this turn and then pop that and swing. So we were okay no matter what. All right. 
See? See? That, that good. It's 33% effective. Hey, it's about to be 50%. 50% effective. What? Oh, yeah. To be fair, we should have won the... Uh, I, I kind of messed up on the uh, Cyber Dragon game. Kind of by a lot, right? Yeah, we should have we should have used the, the super team to special summon, and then we would have had a live negate for when you tried to fusion. I didn't wasn't paying attention. To All right, here, power. look, you get to you get to make up for it. All right, all right let's go. I'm re I'm actually ready for this. Get in all there. Right. All right, so we're gonna normal summon Unu. Well, we that's all we can do. Yep. Send the Deneb. We so actually have a it? really good hand. You can send one Teller Knight card from your deck to your hand. Okay. So what's a good opening play? I mean, a... this is a good opening play. Deneb. So you're gonna send the Deneb, and then you're going to Skybridge into Altair. Okay. Skybridge into the Altair. The Altair will summon the Deneb. Which will summon what? Which will search a card. Probably search. We'll probably be searching another Altair here because Altair is like the main way in which you plus. Yep. Okay. Search into Altair. And then you're going to summon Batalamus from the extra deck. Are we going to pop it again? Are we doing that whole thing? I mean, I think that's a better play. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. No, I, I just don't get it. Why don't we just leave these two monsters here and then just go? Uh, because the Deltaros, when it's sent to the graveyard, will allow us to special summon another monster from the deck. So it allows you to, like, get more special summons off your opponent doing anything. Okay, so... so use this, yep. And discard, yeah, that one. And then discard the Unu, because the Altair is good in your hand. Okay. And then we, uh, yep, that guy. And then since, okay, actually, you make a good point. Since we only have one battalion, we need to keep this Deltaros on the field. So then set, uh, set the... Floodgate and pass. Because if you don't have a second one, you wouldn't be able to make another Deltaros without the Deltaros on the field dying. So that makes sense to do it this way. Okay. It seems like we went through a lot of resources to have one monster on the field. And we just got night beamed. That's fine. He can't kill us. Through. This is the the one Deltaros actually blocks three attacks. Does it? So Yep, because you'll special summon into your other Altair from deck, which will resummon something the Deltaros from the graveyard. And then the Deltaros, once it's sent to the graveyard again, will special summon special summon something else out. Well, so, did we uh, actually do a Fire attacks. King video where the guy attacked us like six times? Yeah, so this blocks four attacks. That's still not enough. <laughs> well, hey, four we can block four attacks. <laughs> Does this guy have the fusion gate? Of course he does. Oh my god. Okay, here's the problem. If you can open core plus fusion. Ah! <laughs> Wait, does he have the does he have the regular fusion? Oh my god. Does he have the does he have the fusion? He has fusion. He has fusion. Wait, he added the, the fusion support. Yes. So we don't know if he has the other fusion in his hand. Oh my okay, so wait, he must not. These are going straight into Cyber End. This is the end. Wait, he has the oh, the fusion special summons from the Vanished Pile as well. So, the, actually, it doesn't matter. I, wait. He's just going in. Oh, wait, no. Okay, this guy misplayed. Okay, so we just click yes. And what are we doing here? We're summoning? We're going to special summon the Altair into defense. Yep. Okay. And then you can click yes, and then that will summon the Deneb from the gr or actually, um, what do we want to do here? Either Deneb to search, yeah, do Deneb search Sirius. Okay. 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 Sirius, yeah. Why so serious? Because Sirius will give you your battalion this back, so you can. Ladder back into your Deltaros. Okay. So he wait well, he set both of those back rows, so he actually can't kill us right now. Nice. Check your grave really fast. Let's see what you have. One, two, three, four. Okay. We need five, right? Yeah. Wait, we can actually just kill him. Okay. Show um, show me how to kill him without. If you okay, uh, X season to Paladynamo. 
Okay. Uh, this one? Yeah. What does this do and now? And then it, it will make his attacks zero. Oh. And Paladino was 2,000 attack, so. Okay. So then just activate effect. If he lets us. And if we force through a back row, we still have a normal summon, so. Mm, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Hmm. Alright, just activate effect. Yep. Boom. Yeah, yeah, you gotta do two. You gotta do two. It's like digital bugs. I get that, man. I get that. Mm -hmm. You should said this deck is exactly like digital bugs. And then I would be like, oh. <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly like digital bugs. It seems bugs, like it's exactly like digital bugs. So he has a. F One of those is probably a fusion set, I would imagine. And okay. then we set the Book of Moon. And we normal summon the Sirius. Not the Altair. Because the Altair will lock you to only being able to attack with... Uh, yeah, click yes. Oh, we're going to shuffle? Yeah, we're going to shuffle. I always do the XCs first. And then try to keep a Deneb in the grave if you can. So don't do the Deneb. Do two Altairs on the Unu. Yep. What does the Deneb do in the grave? The Deneb is just good because we can summon Altair to be able to... Oh, to pull Deneb out of the grave and then yeah. get the... Yeah. Okay. Get the search so if that we way. draw into Skybridge... Okay, set the Alpha. That's actually a really good top there. Uh, so that's nice. And then we just attack. See what happens. This is where he fuses or whatever. I mean, if he fuses, that's fine because we can still... I mean, he'd have to go into the very big fusion and we still have Book of Moon to reset. So that's fine. He has a very big fusion. He has a huge fusion. So he he would have to go into the the biggest one. Oh, wait, that's fine. What? I'm confused. Okay. What? We still get to swing into his other dude, and he doesn't. I'm con I'm really confused. Let's here. see what happens here. <laughs> I'm genuinely maybe uh, that other back row does something perplexed. Yes. Uh, should I say yes or no? Yeah, I think you should say yes. Okay, let's do personally. yes then. Should we pick this one? No. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Does it do? Does the other back row do anything? I mean, there's a delay. It's got it. What? What was it? What is... I guess there's another fusion support, probably. I guess he was just okay. We yeah. take those. All right. Yeah. Let's go. All right. <laughs> See, fifty percent effective. 50%. We're going up. All right. We'll do one more, and then we're gonna get out of All here. Right. All right, fifty percent right, right. effective. You ranked okay, me down, up. Herf. Now, now you got to get me now, partway back yeah. to it. I will, I will rank you up. All right. All right so the first game, I feel like uh, we just got unlucky. Okay. Mm -hmm. Second game we threw. No, right, whoa, 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 whoa! What's this? We? What's this? We? Right. I. Hey, you were the one clicking the buttons. Were you That's not? That's true. Okay. okay. I'll, a, I'll take my thing. fair share of our <laughs> loss. Hey, we win together, we lose together. Okay. Oh, is that that's, what it is? Yeah, yeah. Only when bad things happen, it's a team effort. But when it's a good thing, oh, it's all me. Right? Yeah, because uh, your <laughs> your account also deranked from Legend Two to Legend One. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So this is actually a pretty good hand, depending upon what else we draw. Well, he just sent Levianir and Plague Spreader Zombie to the grave. This is genuinely confusing, but that's the part of the beauty of the ladder. Is sometimes you just never know. And he just sent uh, Lumina. <sighs> Nice. And solar recharge, so that's good. Alright, this is actually a really good hand. So you're okay. going to normal summon Unu? Cosmic Cyclone? Uh, no, oh, you're Unu. not going to Unu. That. Okay, Unu. I, they sound similar, so... Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Send the Deneb. From your deck to the graveyard. What is now, delay? We want to send that... Why do we want to send the Deneb? What, what happens the when Deneb it goes... The Deneb will search once it's special summoned. And we, since we have the Buddy Force, it will can special summon it to search nice okay and we're gonna set three we're gonna set everything except the cosmic all right and we're gonna use the cosmic on our book of moon yeah that's precisely what we're gonna do nice we're just gonna swing over come on come on there we go and then in his so what does he have here okay he's got nothing and then before his main phase, just um, special summon the Deneb, so we have a good, we have a good negate target. Should so I do it in the one. standby phase? Do it in any phase you want before main phase. So right, right here. Right here. Fine. Perfectly fine. Uh, should I do it right here? 
Do it right here. I dare you. Should I use the Book of Moon? I. <laughs> Whenever the Book of Moon is there, just you have to use it. I... <laughs> yeah. Do anyway, you want to use it? Yes or no? It's 50 50. Autom <laughs> <laughs> Automatically win. Book of Moon. Reveal. Okay. It's like one piece Attack of Attack or Zodiac. defense? Does it matter? Defense. 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 Okay. Defense. Just in case. Just a case. Yes, we're gonna search the Altair. Altair. I was gonna say that. I I think I'm learning here. I I you know, I think you are too. Maybe we play this later on some other time. Hey, maybe. 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 Potentially. Maybe. Maybe not. It's a small possibility. Outside chance. Yeah, in the ballpark potentially. Area Flag time. Spreader zombie. That's fine. Plague Spreader, we don't really care about any of these other things, really. He's going to try to synchro summon, as the kids say. Mm. Oh, he tributes! Okay, he goes into... Okay, right. nice. Is that the roar? Yeah, the dragon roar. Roar! Yeah. He's just going to battle. Okay. Look how itchy his well, back is. Think how those things feel. <laughs> That's why he's always this upset. Is, you know what I this mean? This is fine. This is fine. Just take it? Yeah, because we're going to normal summon Altair and resummon whatever he sends to the grave, so... Oh, okay, yeah, because the Altair can pull one from the grave, and then we're just going to pull whatever, yeah. and then go into what? Go into um, Batalamus. All right, so just normal summon Altair. Are we going to do that thing where we, like, use a lot of material, and we end up with, like, one monster in defense? <laughs> normal summon. <laughs> right, is that what we're doing <laughs> again? The play that Anderson. makes no sense. We're going to use seven cards and end up with uh, Xyz, Monster. Uh, Deneb. Do we want to do other, this? Other Deneb, yeah. Get the other Deneb out of the deck. Okay. So we're Actually, gonna send the send the serious. Because we're gonna go through all this and we're gonna have an XZ's monster that does not have any materials on it in defense. Mm, we're not gonna pop ourselves, we're gonna pop him. Okay. And then you just uh make the Batalamus. Make the Batalamus. We're gonna do that and the Deneb. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Oh, okay, sorry. I thought I was we're going good, into a good. three banger and it's only a two banger. Sorry. Yep, only banging two. Only banging two. Okay, sorry. Uh, no problem. All good. Activate. No. And then, yep, activate. Yeah, because you want to go into the thing. That's how you get into the. Okay. Dude. Send the Unu. Yep. Because the Altair can't special summon itself. And then discard the Altair, I think. Or actually the Cosmic. Because he doesn't play any back row. Okay. And now what happens? And then we're going to get into our. Yep, this guy. Oh, so we could add Lethal. I'm sorry. And then you're going to pop. Well, it's not going to be lethal because he floats, so you're going to pop. Oh, okay. Just that one? Yep. yep. Get out of here. And then pop him. Pop. And then I think we save our negate. I don't think we use it on this. We'll see what he summons. Yeah, this is all fine. Because if he, if he gets the dark, he's going to add the dark back to his hand. And that'll be a bit of a brick. And if he summons the hawk, we just swing over it. So this is fine. We just uh, let it go. Just uh I think we could have negated it and just attacked, right? Um but then we lose a monster in the field. Uh, oh, you gotta sacrifice one, okay. Yeah, so, so we, this is we just pass because the dark will go back to his hand and if we swing into it he gets a search. So Okay, just, just just end turn. Yep. Yep. If it goes back to his hand, it's a brick in his hand. And if he summons anything, we just have a negate. So, nice. 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 And we can just all tear into the Sirius to get all of our resources back and draw a card. As well as the Alpha will draw a card for us. Oh, this is fine. Oh, are we gonna Lumina or do the? Do We're the gonna negate Lumina? on the Lumina effect. Yep. Yes. We just yeah, negate yes. here. Make some negative one here. Yep. Negate. Send the Deneb. Deltaros. The Deltaros, because it floats. Yeah. Yeah, because it'll flow off of being sent to the graveyard, and then you go into the Altair from the deck. Okay. So this will actually destroy it and draw us a card. You click yes. And then we're going to be able to draw another card here. Nice. And then nice. special summon Altair. Yep. Because we sent the series attack, to the defense. grave. Uh, it doesn't matter, I guess, because okay. we already have the other one in attack. And then special summon the serious. Why so serious? I'm pretty sure we have enough resources to shuffle. So let's see what happens. Oh, we don't. That's fine. Whatever. We'll if see. anything happens to it, we just special summon it again, so. Okay. He's like, what the hell just happened? This deck floats more than my Thunder Dragons. 
So he uses the dark effect here, so that means he can't use it again this turn. So he doesn't. He's no longer able to search. So the worst thing that could happen is for him to drop a living year right here. But he's plague spreadering zombie. -ing. That's fine. I think me thinks is fine. If he has a hawk in his hand, he might try to like black roses. Oh, he's gonna end his turn. Nice. Okay. Nice. So now we can just make Deltaros. We make the Deltaros together. Yep. You just make it Deltaros. Yep. And then what? Just summon and one then, of the other ones? And then pop. And then pop and by using the Deneb. Oh, because we can special summon that back with the Altair, yep. right? Yep. Yep. See? Yep. See? And then pop, yeah, his card. And then, yeah, we just normal summon Altair. The dark is in his hand, yeah, so he has nothing here. We win. Look at all Teller the Knights? card advantage. Yeah, we're going to have so many cards. And then normal summon Altair. Special summon the Deneb. Deneb. So here, if you had another Batalamus, we actually would have been able to make double Delta. Scoop yeah. City. Do that. Easy peasy. Easy game. Too easy. Actually, too easy. All right, I'll put the deck back up on screen. It was fun. I've never really... Well, that was honestly the first time I ever played it. I can I can see where you're headed with the plays. Yeah, it's a bit of a slow deck. And you just have... It's... Like, if you make one, like, small misplay, you lose. It's kind of... Oh, I like to make big misplays, though. So this probably isn't <laughs> the deck for me. <laughs> yeah, like, you just have to be very, like, resource efficient in terms of your back row. I like to and, hard uh, misplay. <laughs> you, you like it hard? Yes. Nice. I like it. I like it. I like I like where your head's Herb's at. trying to get the intro clip. You can tell. You can always tell when he's like, yeah. maybe I'll get the he's intro like, clip with this one. Well, no, no. Let's see. The thing is, is like, you just say stuff, and then I say stuff. So then we say stuff, and then it's stuff. There's the intro clip. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. This was actually pretty fun. I never played the deck before, even mm -hmm. though I had it. So it was fun to have Herb in here showing me how to do it. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you don't have the deck, I want to go out of my out of my way to get it, but if you have it, it's definitely something to uh, try out, right? I enjoy playing it overall. Yeah, but don't go out of your way to get it. This isn't one of those you got to get it kind of decks. No, this is like if you have it, here's how to play it. But if you don't, whatever, enjoy yeah. the content. Yeah. So make sure you get in the Discord because that's where we host all of our tournaments. Twenty five out of thirty are free because we're doing some paid tournaments to up the competition level in the prize mm -hmm. pool. So check that out. Um, we got new player help. You can check that out. That's free as well. So, and you can check Herf and I out on YouTube videos and on stream. So make sure to do that. We're gonna Hot get out. Dang. Yeah, we're gonna get out of here. I'm Circus. That's Herf. See ya next time.